I've got another Darling Stamp Timber exclusive to share with you today. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today's Stamp Timber exclusive is from Pink and Main. It's adorable. It's going to sell like hotcakes. I'll stop talking because we got to get into this simple card project. Well, I don't know if it's going to be simple, but it's, it's hopefully going to be cute. Stick around. That card project is coming up next. Also, Link in the description. You, if you want to do that first and then come back, don't worry, I'll, I'll be here. Here's a look at the Pink and Main exclusive called Love You Snow Much. And the Marshmallow Snow People are back. They are adorable. And so let's get set up to stamp. And I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, which is mask. There are coordinating dies available, but just like the stamp set, they are only around while supplies last. And so I don't have the dies today, which gave me the idea to stamp mask color and have a little fun. Let's get set up for our initial stamping. I am just gonna do this little fun friend and I'm gonna stamp him right smack dab in the middle. Now I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I am gonna mask him. But first, we have to stamp it. So, I've got my grip mat in here to hold my cardstock. This is Nina Classic Crest Solar White. It is the 110 pound. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of prime my stamp a little bit. And I'll be using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black because I'm going to color with alcohol markers. And this is an alcohol marker friendly ink. So, Got some nice little delicate lines on here, but I think this is going to be very cute. I'm going to press to transfer. Pick that up. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. And then I'm going to grab uh, some masking paper. Oh, wait. Because I'm going to have to mask and cut this out. I think I'm going to hit it one more time, just lightly, because those lines are so delicate and go like this. All right. Let me grab some of my masking paper. I'm going to use a little piece of masking magic. Let me see if I have one that is the right size to cover. I think so. Let's do that. And I'll just make sure he's covered. And then I'm going to stamp I'm actually going to stamp the next one with some dye ink just so that it dries quickly. I have a Gina K cube right here because for this, it's just the outline I need so I can trim my mask. Okay, bring this down right here and press. All right. Now I will trim this out off camera using some small scissors here and when I'm when I come back it will magically be cut out and we're going to cover him up and do some fun things. There is my little mask and that was not too hard to cut out. Now I did cut around his uh I didn't cut around his arms or scarf because that's just not in my wheelhouse and I don't think it's necessary but now what I need to do is get the little backer off and the mask is coming off. Now it's just a matter of placing this down and getting it perfectly lined up. I think I'm going to go this route here because if I get that right on the guy, I have a feeling that's going to be just about perfect like that. And I'll just do a little rub like that. Now here's Here's where we're gonna have some fun. Let me get a grip mat because I'm gonna do some ink blending. I'm gonna take one of my favorite stencil sets. This is the Simon Says Stamp A2 Masks. They are so all purpose. And we are going to create a little grounding area for our friend. But you know what, before I do that, I probably should have a concept of my greeting. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna just focus on this first and it's pretty easy to frame out what you want and the grip mat which is so awesome <laughs> just gonna hold this in place right 
So this stencil is not going to move. Now I'm going to take a couple blues and do a little ink blending to create a little grounded background for my scene. I'm going to prime my brush. Just get it primed and cleaned at the same time because I'm going to start with the lighter color and end at the bottom with slightly darker. We're just going to take a little of this marine. I'm tapping a bit off because I re and I'm going to hold this just so I can come in here lightly like this. And we're just going to add a scene behind our snowman. And actually, you know what? Maybe I don't want a darker color. Maybe I like it like this with the darker blue at the top coming down. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. It will create quite a bit of contrast on the white cardstock. And the reason I didn't want to color first, because if I screw anything up at this point, I can restamp and I still have my mask, but I didn't spend all the time coloring. You know, will that make sense? <laughs> of course it does. Okay, I'm not going with another shade. We're sticking with a one color friend, but I want to add some snow. Now this looks like a lot of masking, <laughs> but I just didn't want to get paint on my grip mat or my computer. So I've got like a towel set up here. Oh, I tell you, filming, filming things. You gotta, you always gotta pay attention. All right, I'm going to use titanium is the color. This is an Amsterdam acrylic fluid ink. I love this for snow. And I just thought if I do this, it's gonna look more realistic. Now I could just do a pen, a little white gel pen, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I really did want to just do this. So let's take our, I'm gonna wet this down just a little with a little bit of water. And then I'm just gonna pick up my brush like that. And I'm just going to tap on some snow. This is actually pretty uh, thick. I wonder if I can get that a little lighter. I just think those are going to look more realistic than a pen. Okay, so and this isn't going too badly. Winter Wonderland. Okay, let me get this all cleaned up and let this dry before I peel off the mask. Now we'll just take off our pieces. I wiped most of the stencil off. I'm gonna let the snow dry completely before I start coloring and take the mask off. But, oh, it's gonna be so cute. All right. Uh, the mask will stay for a few more minutes. I don't think there's any snowflakes that are going to harm it. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. All right. And now I'm just going to lift it from this side very lightly and gently lift up so you can see what is underneath. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Sorry. Oh, honestly, I don't even, I don't even think I need to color it. I think it's so cute. Okay, but there you go. There you go. All right, I'm gonna let the snow dry before moving on. Also, I am saving that mask because, honey, I did way too good a job on that to not use it again. I'm afraid that I'm gonna screw it up. <laughs> That's how I always feel when I color, but you know what? I am gonna put on some music and I'm gonna do the best job I know how to do coloring in these cuties. Let's go.
and that is about the best I'm ever going to color. <laughs> Okay, I kept it really simple. I am going to add some details to the scarves. So let me grab a gel pen. Well, actually, I'll do that at the end. All right, moving on. Got a little piece of black cardstock here from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going to stamp two greetings because I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. And I'll just take a Versamark pad, ink that up, and bring that down. I'm using my Versamark pad because it's a little dry and this is a little delicate and I want to preserve as much of that as I can. And so let's pick this up and I'll go ahead and add my powder. Sprinkle that on. Cute. All right. I'll clean off any excess powder with a brush and then we'll melt this real quick. I will buff off the anti-static powder. I'm gonna cut both of these down and decide which one I want to use. All right, I'm definitely gonna go with the smaller one because I can just feel that this is the way I want to go. I used one of my Simon Says Stamp Sentiment labels. These dies are so great because they have, well, all these little friends. And I'm going to take the little notch, I guess I could use the smaller one here, I'm just gonna cut a little notch here because I don't really like doing this by hand because every time I try to just do a little fishtail, even if this cut's not perfectly clean, I know it will look good. So I'll go ahead and cut that out. And now I'll just take my little baby trimmer, pop it in here, line that little letter right up there and cut. And now I have, I have a really cute little banner for my card. Okay, moving on. I'm going to trim this down just a little bit with my A2 layers dies. And I think the crop that I want is gonna be about that. See, this, this die set with this magnetic mat, this is so great because then, oh my gosh, forget about it. Okay, okay, we're moving on. We're gonna cut this out. I wanna thank one of you smarties out in YouTube comment land because you said all you gotta do is bend the mat to get it off rather than dig at it with your nails. And I just think that's brilliant. Oh, okay, okay. And then now, I mean, what? Okay, let me get some foam and let me prep a note card real quick. I grabbed a piece of fog cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. This is probably my favorite pale gray because it's a warm gray. And I used a little warm gray markers on my little, my little friends. All right, give that a nice press with my Teflon bone folder. All right, note card ready. I'm just gonna measure this real quick. Get a little piece of foam tape here, one right in the middle. That's a little long. Sometimes it's a little long and that's okay. All right. All right. Now let's pop this onto the note card. This little guy too. <laughs> and I'm gonna stand up and look right down over it. Forgive my head if it gets in the way. And press. I was so worried I was gonna ruin it when I was coloring. <laughs> All right, and now what I think would be, I put thin Simon Says Stamp foam squares back here, and I am just going to put it right about there. So simple. And I think the black is nice because it picks up the black in the stamped image itself and a little bit of that dark little hat. So I'm going to grab my tweezers but I'm also going to put a little bit of liquid glue on each square, just a dab, this is connect glue, so that it doesn't stick right away. And I have just a second to make sure we are lined up where I want to be. So I'll bring in my T-ruler that helps get that right where you need it. And let's see, I think I want it to be 
right there. Okay, let go, press this up, and press that and that. That's my card. I don't know if I want to put anything shiny on it because I think it's just so sweet by itself. Oh, you know, like why I don't I don't think I do. I I think we're done. I'm gonna walk away and call this good. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. Don't forget this is a Stamp Timber exclusive and once this set sells out, it will be gone for good. However, you can take this masking approach to any image that you have and I hope this inspires you to give it a try. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you so hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Here are a few more winter themed cards that you might enjoy checking out. I'll see you in those videos.